we are welcome back. Oh. We are the biggest, we are the largest. Andra was phenomenal. Andra was gracious. Andra, we had a lot of uh, a lot of information and I said knowledge you make one concern. Ancestral case, yes, you be will be you. Everybody, hey, this is serious. And the imprinting, I hope you guys are thinking about it. Is 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 that serious? Honestly, we have our brother here with us. Um, he gave us a lot of uh, details yesterday, so I kept him. And then we are continue. Today we are discussing his topic. Why do good things happen to bad people? How? Why? Why? Welcome once again. Thank anyway. you. Okay, so yesterday you introduced yourself and you said you do what, what and what. I want to, I want to ask a question. Okay, so my name is Sukadeva Goswami. Mm -hmm. I'm, an I'm an astrologer. Okay. I read the stars and the planet mm -hmm. and I interpret their influences in the life of people. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher. I teach Vedic knowledge, which is Vedic astrology to students. I have school, I have a school, a Vedic school in Mauritius, and I travel all over the world teaching astrology to students. And because you invited me, so I'm here. Thank you. <laughs> That's why this astrology thing is why I'm asking. Africans, do we take astrology seriously? Be honest. Um, well, you say be honest. So <laughs> mm -hmm. I have seen a lot of Sodo, Sido astrologers, but they are not astrologers. Explain. Just reading a book of planets, stars, and all of that does not make you an astrologer. Who? Uh, it doesn't. You need to be taught. You need to pass through a teacher. You need to receive the knowledge. It is a knowledge that has to be given to you. You can't just take it online and read a book like now. Now I've read. Oh, okay. So now I know how to read a person's destiny. No. The <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that. So that's why I say there's a lot of sido, meaning it is not real, just pretending to be real. Astrologists. Yes, there's a lot of them here. The moon and the stars and the fallen angels. There's a lot of that here. I ask if Africans take this thing serious because when you travel to the Western world, you realize that when they are even building, they will read these people, your people. They will come and read and they will tell you the house has to face here, yes. face there yes. for this energy to pass through yes. to this. Yes. Even when there is a river lying somewhere, they will call your people. Then they will say you should do road here, 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 this. Yes. So that people will go around, pass here and have a greater energy from Indeed. this. Indeed. In Africa, we don't see any of this. That's why I'm asking oh, if no. we take the, this the knowledge was there. But it is lost. The knowledge was there, but it is lost. Actually, the knowledge originates from here and goes towards the, the West. It originated from here. Astrology, the reading of the stars, the sun, the moon, the planet, and all of that, it all originated from yes. here. And, but it is lost. It is lost because, because of women are not respected. Ah, that one, what has this <laughs> one got to, got to do with women? It is a fact. For any knowledge, if you want any knowledge to stay with you forever, you must respect women. Hmm. It is a fact. Because knowledge itself is a woman. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Knowledge itself is a woman. And that is why we pray to her also. Ma Saraswati. Ah, she's a woman. You see, but basically everything that, recon that recollects to on how, uh, that concerns how you should live a harmonious life is all connected to women. Money is a woman. Knowledge is a woman. Having the earth itself, you know, living on the earth itself is a woman. And these are the things you need to sustain yourself. So when you don't respect any of, any of this, how do you think the knowledge will stay? Mm. It won't. So the knowledge is lost. But yes, you know, and that's why you see they are diviners. You know, I come from a family of healers, you know, traditional healers, diviners, and seers, mm -hmm. and soothsayers. It is written that they can look at the palms of your hand mm -hmm. and they can tell you the imprint of what your destiny is to be. That is the lineage that I come from. 
But the knowledge is lost because there are no teachers to teach it. Why? What happened? Apart from the respect. Everybody wants to become Christian. A master. Everybody wants to become a Christian. A Christian. Everybody wants to become... I'm not a. I'm not going into the religious. No, you uh, don't stuff, even have to. You know? We don't have time to waste. <laughs> you know, but everybody, you know, feel that their own knowledge or their own tradition is useless, and they embrace the foreign man tradition. You know, but this knowledge is Africa. It's traditional knowledge. So the knowledge is there, and that is why there are some certain people they still have it, but now the the essence is lost. You know, the essence of. Why do you think that when people fall into trouble, the first thing that they look is, this, is to the sky? Why? Because that is where the knowledge is. It is a subconscious, it is a subconscious uh, a stimuli, you know, a subconscious, uh, how do you call it, something that just happened un, 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 unplanned. And that's why sometimes when one is feeling sad, you just look up, oh, like expecting the answers to be, to be there and the answers to fall you know, down to us. Why? Because since time immemorial, looking up to, the up, up to the stars, reading the stars, reading the movement of the stars, the planet, the moon, and all of that, has been what we've been, done, we've been doing, has been what we've been taught to do. But because of the British, the Englishman, and all of that, and time also, the knowledge is all lost. Hmm. Is it possible to get it back? Do you, looking at our, our condition and whatever we are going through now, it Can is, we? Is, it, is there hope for Africa to keep pick up all these knowledges? Yes, all this is. knowledge. Yes, there is. When if there is the right teacher, is, uh, is there going to be a right teacher in future? Looking at everything that's going on. Yes, there will be. There will be. Africa will be great again. Yes. I have so much hope that we will be better again. We will be. We are ready. We are ready. This gives me hope. <laughs> the journey continues. You are watching the biggest and the largest. So tell us, do you be believe in any fraternity? Do you belong to any fraternity? I can see Krishna stuff. I don't know. I just want to be sure. Me, I'm a gossiper. International gossiper. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Do I belong to any fraternity? Mm -hmm. Well, I need to be very careful. <laughs> I don't belong to any fraternity. I am Sukadeva Goswami Das. Yes, I have a place of worship. And my, my choice of worship is through the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Mm. That is my choice of worship. That is where I feel comfortable to worship. So that is the this religion that I practice. But that is my religion. That is not my spirituality. I understand. That's what I'm asking. Yes. I'm asking you this because this, these two things, I have been doing a bit of everything. Because I have told you I'm an inquisitive, I'm a gossiper. I learn stuff. Yes. Uh -huh. But this uh, Krishna thing and, and, and Kabbalah, they are the difficult things I couldn't. <laughs> I start every day and I fall off. I think I'm going to take it up again. You should. Uh -huh. I start every day and I fall off. Now, I, what I've realized is that those who belong to this fraternity are open-minded. Mm. And they learn and they acquire a lot of knowledge. But you don't hear from them. They are not loud. But if I'm not mistaken, I think you people can help us take our balance. But... I don't know why you people keep to yourself. Is there any reason for this? We don't keep to ourselves. First of all, the student has to be ready, and, the the, and then the teacher will appear. If a student is not ready, it doesn't matter how much you try to impart the knowledge, it, the knowledge will never stay. Mm. So the student has to be ready. OK, I'm ready to learn. Then the teacher will appear, and whatever the teacher teaches, we stay. Mm. If the, 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 the student is ready. Then the How, teacher will So are you, are you a lot in Africa, the Krishna, Krishna movement? Are you a lot in Africa? Well, you can see for yourself, see? 
<laughs> you can see for yourself. Well. You are watching the biggest. Um, my greetings to Baladev. Um, um, my greetings to um, Shark Shoes and the new queen. The new king. The mm. new the, the newest king. On also so yeah, that's that's Ibia. My greetings to the Varishi. On also so yeah, that's that's for Ibia. My greetings to all. I love you guys because of your spirit. Me, I love spirituality. That's good. Me, I love spirit, eh? When you hear me come and say speak and I will be there. Maybe you are calling Sprite too. But the fact that you say speak, I am there. But before I get there, it is Sprite. <laughs> then I move on. You are watching the biggest. So the topic today is why do good things happen to bad people? Who is a bad person? What is good and what is bad? Mm. I want to know first. <clears throat> There's no one that is good, there's no one that is bad. Everything is all a play of karma, destiny. Who is good, who is bad? We, we have a, a lens that we use in judging people according to societal dictum and according to the societal rule. If a child or a person acts in accordance to what the society believes is the right standard of living, so he's good. If a person does not act in accordance to what the society believes is not the right way of living, so he's bad. So who is good, who is bad? A man of God is good, and a person that is not practicing uh, worship of God is bad. Uh, the one that is sin sitting in his house is good, and the one that is walking outside is bad. Who is good, who is bad? There's no one that is good. There's no one that is bad. None. This is serious. So, <laughs> so what, what, what the topic is, why do good things happen to bad people? How do you explain this? There's no bad person. The reason, explain. The reason explain. why we choose the topic is because a lot of people believe, a lot of people make themselves a victim of excusitis. A victim of, I'm... Uh, I'm a good person, but look at why things is happening to me. God, why? God, why? Why? Why are you making this to happen to me? I don't. I don't kill people. I don't speak bad to people. I'm always on my lane. I'm always doing things on my own. But why are you punishing me? This is a big question, people ask. A big question. That is why we chose the topic. Okay, so tell us. God is not punishing anybody. Huh? God is not punishing anybody. We are all punishing ourselves because we are suffering from the result of what we've done in our past. Mm. Every one of us, we are suffering as a result of what we've done in our past. So, uh, a child, is a child good or is a child bad? Mm. A but baby, a child will die. Mm, mm, a baby is born, right? It's, inno is a, it's innocent, right? Mm -hmm. But then why is the child born blind, deaf, and dumb? Why? He has not done anything to the world. Ah, oh, my child is such an innocent child. Why is this child being punished like this? What have this child done? Oh, negative people looking at the child and everything. But he hasn't done anything. He has not even lived so much in the world. But why is the child born blind? Why is the child born deaf? Why is the child born, you know, with a certain disease? Because of what the child has done in the past. In this lifetime, it is in, his, in the body of a small child. But in the past life, it was a grown-up person. And that grown-up person have done things that he has to pay for. Hmm. So I'm paying for a debt. And because I'm paying for a debt, that is why I'm here today with you. Hmm. And what is that debt? The debt of knowledge. Hmm. I owe you this knowledge. And that is why I'm here to repay it back to you. Hmm. And you owe me also something, which is to hear. Now what you choose to do with the knowledge, now that is what is going to determine whether you are going to have to come and pay me back again in my next life. <laughs> <laughs> payments <laughs> or you will be free of it so it's actually not paying uh, um, um, about uh, paying with bad things happening to you but every aspect of your life yes. you are paying something yes. you are receiving something yes. and that you have to be careful with what you are receiving else yes. you will come back to pay for indeed. receiving it and not making use of it indeed so the person that is bad in this lifetime was actually a good person before. An example is this. Let's say a person is walking on the road. He did not commit any crime. And all of a sudden, someone went to steal from somewhere. And the one that is walking on the road is just minding his own business. 
just doing. But then the police come to arrest him, and the person that went to steal, the police did not arrest him, and he went away. Why? Because in the past life, this one that is free now and looks innocent actually went to steal. And the one that went to steal was arrested on behalf of this one that is innocent. And because he was arrested on behalf of this one, he served the punishment. So now it is time for this one that ran away from the offense in the past life for him also to serve the Nothing punishment. Nothing is for free. Nothing is free. So when we're talking about the good and the bad, it is simply nothing but just a payment. Payment, that is all. If you are acting good in this lifetime and some, someone is, is not acting very nicely but is getting so many good things happening to him, you know, he's a very bad person, he speaks very badly and everything, but see how he's being blessed by God. Oh, why is God blessing him more? And me that I'm a very good Christian, a very good Muslim, a very good Hindu, I'm not being blessed like that. No, we are all suffering from what we've done, what we've deposited in, the, you know, in our past. That is what we are going to reap. You reap what you sow. You don't sow what you don't reap. Mm. That is a fact. Mm. So that is why the good things that happen to bad people, there is nothing good that happens to anybody. It is just nothing but just repayment, you know, payment of whatever it is that they have done in the past life, either getting the reward of it or not getting the reward of it. It's as simple as that. You are watching the biggest. So let's combine your, your topic together. Why do good things happen to bad people? Explain this topic for us to understand. Okay. Uh -huh. Explain this topic for us to understand. Some years ago, my spiritual teacher, he gave a discourse. And when he was young, he had a reverend father that was very good always in the society very nice but this reverend father one day was coming to the church and everybody were already sitting in the church waiting for him to come but unbeknown to the people that were sitting in the church the reverend father had an accident and he the the trailer was passing by and hit him and smushed his skull all over the floor and his skull was splattered everywhere and <laughs> When the people in the, the congregation came to know that the Reverend Father has died, and this is the circumstance of how he died, the people were very furious. This innocent man of God, this pure man of God, why should he be punished like this? What kind of thing has he done? And look at this man, he's a drunkard. Just see what he has done to this you know, innocent man of God. This struck my spiritual master. And it struck him to so, such an extent that why should a man that has dedicated his life to worship God be punished in this way and the one that is a sinful person is just like that, free? On the course of his searching, he met his teacher and his teacher taught him. He taught me and that is what I'm repeating right now. Mm. So I'm not just repeating my own word, mm -hmm. I'm repeating the word of my teacher. So, what I'm trying to say is that no one is free. We are all suffering, whether good or bad, as a result of what we have done in the past life. A bad person in this lifetime was a good person in the past. And because he was good, he has done good things, and that is why the universe is rewarding him for the good things he has done in the past. Although his character may be bad, but even though his character is bad, he still has to reap for, you know, for the negative character he's doing, he also has to pay for it in the next life. Have you walked on the road and someone that you don't know come to slap you? Have that happened before? Or someone you don't know come to accuse you? Have that happened before? Mm -hmm. Oh, it happens a lot. You don't know the person, the person don't know you, but the, oh, you did this to me, this, 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 or somebody, okay, simple example, people drive a lot. Right? So you're walking and somebody come to hit you with your car. And you come out and then you start getting angry. Why did you hit me with my car? No. The person actually paying you back for what you've done in the past life. Hey. You've hit the person and the person now has come to hit and you back. And they've been on payment <laughs> and I'm bad you. <laughs> so everybody is suffering. Be it according to what we see in our society or oh, this is good, this is bad. But everybody is suffering. Tell us about reincarnation. Since you are saying 
um, this um, uh, is karma. I know it's karma that it's reincarnation. You can't talk about karma without mm. talking about reincarnation, right? Mm. Yes. Uh huh. So people have a lot of doubt about reincarnation. Mm. People have a lot of doubt about it. Sometimes when you even, there are some fraternities when you even mention it, it's abominable. <laughs> they believe that when a soul is die, a, a soul dies, it ends there. <laughs> There's nothing like reincarnation. Tell us a bit and bring it back to why what is happening to you is happening to you. Maybe you 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 did this, this died at uh, this, that, that, that. And you came back this that that. I wish you can tell us how when how people die and how they reincarnate, and how the old or the past life was set in, and how nobody can do anything about it. Yeah, reincarnation is a fact. Every one of us here is just like, for example, I'm wearing this cloth, right? When I finish from here, I'm going to go home. I will take a shower. I'm going to remove this cloth. It is still the same me, but the cloth I'm wearing is no longer the same. Mm -hmm. The cloth now is different, but it is still, still the same me that wore the cloth. So when we're talking about reincarnation, we're just basically talking about cloth. The body is a cloth. I'm wearing one right now. You're wearing one. Everybody's wearing one. The body is a cloth. And a time is going to come, we have to leave this, you know, remove this cloth to wear a new cloth. That's just how it is. So now, how, how does it affect each and everybody? Or how does it go? How has it been? How has it been? Since time immemorial, we have all been, sh you know, changing different bodies. In this lifetime, my name is Sukadeva. In a previous life, my name was someone, someone different. And based on what I've done in that life, with you know, the activities of that life, I am going to suffer some certain things, either in my marital life or with my relationship with my children. Let me tell you a secret. You want to know? Mm. Everybody that is your, anyone that is your children, your father, your mother, your brother, your grandfather, your friends, your workers, were your worst enemies in your past life. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah! <laughs> They were all your worst enemies in your past life. Say, say again, say again. Your father, anybody that is your father, mm -hmm. your mother, mm -hmm. your brother, your children, your workers, your friends, husband, wife, they were all your worst enemies in your past life. And because they were your worst enemies, they have been strategically placed in your life, in this lifetime, to give you the amount of anxiety and stress that you've given to them in your past life. Hey! Do you understand? I do. <laughs> yeah? So everybody, we are all paying back each, 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 each individual. Everybody, we are all paying back. So when we're talking about reincarnation, we should understand that it is a timeless thing that has been going. We are, we are all shape shifters. We're changing from different bodies. In this life, you are, I'm acting as Sukadeva. In, in a different life, I might be born in a different country. Let me tell you another secret. The country you are born in, is the place you were serving your, you are born to serve your punishment. Hey, any Africa for ADA is serious. Yes. That is why, if, okay, imagine some people, they were born here, but they have to live here to go to another country, to stay in another country, and they progress in another country right up from the place of birth. Why? Because in, in the past life, they were actually from that country that they have gone to. But because of some certain things that they have done in their past life, they have been brought to this country to serve a punishment. They have been born in this country to serve a punishment. And they, they still run back to where, to they, where they were from. And every country you've visited in your life are places you've, gone, you've visited in your past life. It is a fact. It is a fact. Every place you've gone, everywhere you are, everybody you've met, do you think this is the first time I'm meeting you? Hey! Yes, she had no more. Yeah, yeah. We, we met and we drank pito. <laughs> you are watching the biggest and the largest. I'm just having fun. I told you, me, my eyes are good. Oh. If there's going to be information, me, I know. 
Huh? Tell me more about this. This is not the first time we are meeting. We've met for so many lifetimes in different places, doing different things, but yeah, same thing. And you are in Mauritius and I'm here in Africa. Yeah. Here is not easy. <laughs> it is not, but this is where the punishment, you are serving a punishment. Aye, and my own is too serious. It is a prison sentence. Aye. Imagine imagine everybody's in a prison house, you know. And because everybody's in a prison house, but because you have some certain facilities to be able to live a bit comfortably, comfortable, then you start thinking that I'm better than another person. But no, we are all in a prison house. Mm. All suffering, you know, passing through the same prison sentence. It doesn't matter if the politician, not the politician, if this, if that. We are all suffering the same sentence. We are all in the prison house. Mm. But in a prison house, there are some certain people that are put in charge of others. Mm. So because you are put in charge of others, there's a certain you know, facilities that are given. So sometimes, you know, I was doing some research in the prison mm, because I, I'm a writer also. So I was making a research in regarding to palm history, you know, reading the palm. So, so I've, I've looked into the palms of different people, politicians, murderers, killers, thieves, you know, assassins. I've seen each, I've seen, I've seen so many palms in my life. You know, so while making my research, I made the research in the prison house. While in the prison house doing my research, you see, the, the, there are some certain prisoners that are given some certain facility. At a particular time, everybody is locked up. But then the one that is the superior, he has to, is free to stay around and look around and see everything. So he's thinking that his situation is better because he's given a little minute to stay outside than the other people. Mm -hmm. He so, will come back and pay. But still, he has to go back to the prison at the same time. Um, mm. But will he come and pay back? But of course. Aye. Is there anybody that is free? There's nothing that is free. Life does not give you anything free. Oh. That is a fact. It is a, is it, it is a timeless fact. Our ancestors know this. Our ancestors have been teaching us this. Don't take, there's nothing that life gives you that is free. And that is why you must respect life. Mm. When you don't respect it, you will have to come back and pay for it. Mm. It is a fact. It is a fact. Now we understand this. How do one come back if you die now? Mm. If you die now, how do you come back? Do you come back into the same? How do you come back? How is the transition like? Okay. These are some certain signs that a lot of people don't know. But well, you're asking. I believe maybe this is the... The debt that I owe you, so mm. I need to pay you. <laughs> uh, how do one come back? How does reincarnation, how does it occur? Mm -hmm. First, understand that death itself is a process. Before a person die, actually from the moment you were born, you've been dying. And death does not, like, it's not like there is, there is gradual death and there is the final death. Mm. The, the, the final death, before that final death comes, it gives you a warning. Mm. So, before coming to the point of how do a person take another body, you must understand that, first, how do people die? To be able to take another body, you must, how, you must know how to die. If you don't know how to die, you will take a body that is not very nice. Mm. Ah, uh, in this surface of the earth, there are 8,400,000 species of life. 8,400,000 species. And these 8,400,000 species are categorized into four groups. Those that are born of seeds, those that are born of perspiration, those that, those that are born of the womb, and those that are born of eggs. They are all classified into this. Now the soul passes through all of these 8,400,000 species before it gets to the body of a human being. Mm. The body of a human being is the topmost. Why? Because it is only in this body that you can have a relationship with the divine. In other bodies, you can't. And that is why this body, it is said, when you've given a human body, learn to understand the value of the body. The body is not just meant for enjoyment. The body is meant to realize the ultimate truth. Now the question is, what is the ultimate truth? Mm -hmm. A thought to Brahma Jigyasa. Now that you've gotten a human body, use it to inquire about the ultimate truth. Mm. But people don't know what is the ultimate truth. Nobody knows. Everybody is trying to find out. But I'm not going to talk about that now. Okay. You know? <laughs> so fine. reincarnation happens when a person dies. 
the body, it gets a different body after six months. Not after one year, not after ten years. There are some people that stay in the body of a ghost. Mm, they stay in the body of a ghost to serve a particular punishment based on what they have done. That ghosts have a body. Yeah, ghost is a body also. Okay. It's a physical body. It's a body without a physical flesh. Okay. Yeah, it's just a body with consciousness, the mind, and the intelligence. Okay. But it does not have the gross body. Okay. Mm. So there are some people that stays in the body of a ghost, and they stay there to serve punishment for some certain things that they have done, mm. and then the soul takes birth again. The moment the body dies, the soul is going to its next destination. And sometimes the next destination is not in the same family. So sometimes when we think, oh, my mother has come back again, it is a lie. Your mother did not come back again. Mm. It is another person that has come back. Mm. Another soul that has come back to serve a particular punishment mm -hmm. and also to pay the parent for what they have done to him or her in their past life. Mm -hmm. mm. So six months it takes for the soul to embark on the journey. And in that process of six months, the soul passes through different trials. It passes through different things, which is what the Christian Bible calls hell. Mm, that the soul passes through hell, it goes to hell, it suffers in hell, and all of that. Yes, the soul passes through all of that, but there is a process. Mm, so when death happens, the soul is already going to the next destination. And you can know, you can know what is the next body a person is going to have just by looking at them. Do you know that? That uh, okay, you okay, so based on your readings and all that, you can know. No, or the dead, the dead person can know what the next body is going to yeah. get. The dead person. Yeah. What will make give that opportunity? Let me know. Me, I want to come back with an, an a, a, a body. I know. I want the next person. I want me. I don't want to come and be suffering. <laughs> I want to come and be the queen of uh, England. <laughs> <laughs> you are watching the biggest. We are the largest. We are having a great, great, great knowledge from our brother all the way from Mauritius, our Nigeria brother from Mauritius. He's giving us his best. I think you should get a book and a paper. So we are listening. Mm -hmm. You know the kind of body the person gets. The ghost, you the dead person will know. But of course. What, what permits you to know that? It, what and what would you have done in your lifetime that will benefit you to know that my next life, remember, as a president or as no, a, a house it, help? You don't need to do anything. It is just naturally imprinted in you. Wow. It is a natural imprint, but people don't pay attention to it. When a person is old and is about to die, the, the next body that they are going to take, they start acting like that. Mm. Because death is a preparation for the next body. Mm. And before you die, you, the, the, the subconscious, everything around you, automatically, the way you start behaving and everything is just practically, you know, getting yourself prepared, like practicing for the next body that you're going to take. Mm. So it is very simple. You see, it is, it, is, it is seen everywhere. And also understand, death does not come like that. There is nothing as a sudden death. Mm. Death comes to give you a warning three years or five years before it comes. Hey, how? It does. But people don't pay attention. Give us some of the warnings. that We want to know. Give us some of the warnings. There are some knowledge that is not for everybody. It's not for everybody. <laughs> oh, you give us. We, we love you. You love us. I know you love us. There are you some wouldn't have come all the way here. So give us just two. Mm -hmm. Just two. Just two. One. Okay, one. Okay. I have reduced it. That's uh, one. <laughs> when death wants to happen, you see it in your dream. Mm. You feel it in your body. Mm. Your hair. Your hair tells you. Your, your subconscious tells you. You're walking on the road. I'm about to die. You feel it. Death comes to give you a warning. It mm. comes with a sickness. 99% mm. of the time, what kills you is not something that is strange. It mm. is what you know. Mm. Psychology says it. 99% of the time, what is going to kill you is not something that is different, that you are not familiar with. It, it is dwelling what you're with familiar. you. Yeah. So it wow. comes to give you a warning. But we, our life, we live our life in such a way that it is too loud that we cannot hear. We ignore the things that we are supposed to take notice of. Yes. Yay, Radhi. Mm. You are watching the biggest. So tell us, from six months, I'm interested in that part. From six months. 
Yeah, the soul passes through a certain form of uh, purgatory, you put it like that, a certain form of uh, refinement where he has to recollect and relieve the event of what he has done in the past life. But before the body dies, the soul also recollect everything. It's just like you have this here, you know, now when you have a CD that is playing, you are fast forwarding. So everything that you've done before you die, you remember on the, on the deathbed. Although it takes a few seconds, but that second is like years. Ah, when you were put in your mother's womb for the first time, when your father spoke harshly to your mother, when your mother laughed, when you were born from your mother's everything. womb. Everything. Everything you remember on, the, on your deathbed. Everything. Now, when, you, when the soul dies, it now starts getting ready for the next bed. By, it has to pass through a certain process of purification to get ready for the next body and the next family that it is going to enter. It is not necessary that it's going to come back into the same family, mm. except if the curse that is inherited from the ancestors is not fulfilled. A man that does not have a male child is going to be reborn back into his ancestral lineage until he's able to have a male child. Mm. So that they will carry on the curse. Yes. Hmm. So if a, fam if a man has so many male, uh, female daughters and he does not have a male child, when the person dies, he's going to be reborn back into that family for 14 generations. Ha! Huh. Yeah. S to be able to fulfill. And that is why you will see that in the ancient days, there's always an emphasis whereby people are like, I need to have a male child, I need to have a male child, I need to have a male child. So you that's the reason. It, that is the reason. Because the male child is the one that carries the curse. It's the one that inherits the curse. So a family that there is no male child means there is no one that is inheriting the curse. It does not go to the daughters. Mm. The daughter inherits the curse of their husband. Mm. So it doesn't go to them. So the male child that does not have a that does not have a female that does not have a male child he has to be reborn again in that family for fourteen generation mm. for him to be able to you know free himself of the attachment and free himself of the debt to the ancestors. Mm. So connecting all of it together, the reincarnation and everything, everything, see, like I said, from the beginning, when we started talking yesterday and all of that till now, it's all nothing but a connection. For there to be a reincarnation, there must be a curse. When there is no curse, the soul has to fall down. Mm. 8 billion, 400,000 species of life, desire. Mm. There was a time you were in the body of a tree. There was a time I was in the body of a tree. There's a time where, and do you know that we can know which body you wear in your past life? Hey, how? Your feet. Hey! <laughs> tell me! No. Ah, no, 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 tell us! Everybody should look at his or her feet. <laughs> we are coming to tell you whether you were, you were Wawa or you were a uh, Irokoti. Uh, uh, <laughs> I believe I was Akasia Wood. <laughs> you are watching the biggest and the largest. Tell us. Yeah, it's a fact. How, how, See, this is a knowledge. That's why I said, you cannot, when we talk about a person that is a diviner, a diviner is not just a person that tells you about your future. Mm. It's a person that tells you the past, the present, and the future. Three kala gyan. Three kala gyana. A person that sees the past, sees the present, and sees the future. That mm. is a jyotishi. That is a diviner. Mm. Not just a person that tells you, oh, you know what, I see this, I see that. No, 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 no. You have to be able to tell the past life. And all the signs is in the body, hmm. from the feet. How do you know you, that you were a tree, your feet? What, what, what signs are... Come and be my student, I will teach you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You are on the biggest platform. We, you, you came all the way, you bought tickets and, and came here. Out of the love you have for me hmm. and this platform. So hmm. let us benefit. Leave an imprint. <laughs> imprint. <laughs> just one, pe just one, just one. That's one sign that you know that you have. Huh. Tell us one. Just one. <laughs> just one. Do you know what is called the Fibonacci cycle? No. Okay. If you take a tree, how do you know the years of a tree? Depends on the type of tree. Yeah, but normally when you take a tree and you cut it, you see the ring inside. Mm -hmm. Those rings determine the numbers of years that the, the tree has lived. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So also in a human body. 
You see the back of your feet? Mm -hmm. There's a line mm -hmm. at the back of your feet. Yes. Those lines talk about the numbers of times you've taken bed as a human being. Mm. And there's the way your feet is, the feet is also, also shaped that tells you about what you were in your past life. But this knowledge, it requires understanding the way the, the toe of the feet is positioned. The, the the, where the, this place, where it goes up, some people, not their that. own is flat. No, not that. That one is not <laughs> no. because I ask this because <laughs> they don't take you in military. <laughs> no. If your foot is like that. No, not that. Not that. That, is, that doesn't count. Mm, that doesn't count. A person, the way the body is and everything, in ancient days, when a woman wants to get married to a family, and she goes to her in-laws' place. What do you think is the first thing they tell her to do? They look at the feet. Why? They look at the feet. I have seen this before. <laughs> Somebody refused, a, refused to marry a woman, but rather married a woman who brought a, a green leaf from village for the engagement. He left the woman he came all the way from abroad to marry and married the woman who brought the... the because of the, the, the feet. feet. Yeah. Yeah. From the feet of a person, you can know, ah, this is, a, this is an animal in the past life. So the nature of the person is also an anim animal. Mm. Yeah, you can know. These are science and knowledge that our ancestors teach. But everybody is so busy doing so many other things that they don't understand it all. We are busy. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Situations are taking our attention away. Everybody is busy doing nothing. Our consciousness <laughs> is dead. Indeed. 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 Wow, <laughs> you are watching the biggest, the biggest, the biggest, biggest, and the biggest. So, in after you have gone through the process and has come back to this life, you are born into wherever mm. they want you to go. Mm. But you said that if it's a female, if it's a male child and didn't get give birth to a, a male child, he will come back to the same the family. Same family. To that one we understand. So let's know about three instances where there is a possibility you can, me like this, there is a possibility I can go and be a president in America in my le next life. What will warrant that? Your activities. Okay. Your activities. What you do is what is going to satisfy because how do we gain merit? Let us talk about merit. Mm -hmm. Reward. You know, how do we gain merit? To gain merit is not just by, you know, I'm helping people. There's difference between being a philanthropist, you know, and really being, being able to gain merit. It's all about the consciousness. Hmm. If the consciousness is not right, it doesn't matter if you are, if you are feeding 1,000 people, 20,000 people, 3,000 people. But if your consciousness is not right, it's nothing. Hmm. So what makes you to get a better body in the next life is all about merit, merit. What have you done to other people that made them feel, oh, this person did this to me, oh, forever I'm grateful. Just that thought itself, it's a merit that is rewarded abundantly in the next life. Mm. But nowadays, everybody's, everybody is so focused on doing things that they don't gain merit. Mm. Social, to, social media. Yeah, social media and all of that. But it's also, it's also a sign that shows that there is no proper teachers. People that are supposed to be teachers to teach this, they are not teaching it. And because they are not teaching it, people don't know. I, um, I, see, I have, I have students. And having students, I understand the society. And I understand that in the society, before you get what is right, you will, you will first experience and see those that are not right. You know, but in the process of searching, if you are genuine and honest in your search, you are going to come across a genuine teacher that will show you the way, right? Really open your eyes to mm. see the way. A genuine teacher is not someone that is going to teach you how to do abracadabra and then something appears. Eh? No, that is not a teacher. The people themselves, they don't have patience. That is just a magician. Uh, that is just a magician. Mm. Mm. A teacher is someone that opens your eye with the touch light of knowledge. Mm. That is a teacher. Not the one that tells you, you know what, this is your enemy. So if you have this enemy, this person is doing you this. Do this Die do by this. fire. Yeah. No, that is not a teacher. That is not a teacher. Such a teacher cannot help the student. Okay, so you, you are here. You, 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 you have come back to life as reincarnated soul. Yeah. Coming to pay for 
whatever you did, yeah. whether good or bad, yeah. as we say, yeah. is there any atonement? Yes. Everything you are doing is atonement for that. But now when we try to go against it, then it increases. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Someone takes your money. You didn't. You you gave money to somebody, and someone cheated you of the money and took your money and go away. And then you start getting angry. Oh, this person has taken my money away. Oh, I'm gonna do something bad against this person. He has taken my money. No, no, no. The person has taken your money because you have taken his money in the past life. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> <I was here. laughs> because you have As taken. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you have taken the money in the past life. Now, when you start fighting against it. It increases. Now you have to repay back that person again in your next life. Hey, I said, where are no idea. <laughs> this is serious. That is the reality. Okay, that's one. Okay. Marriage. Marriage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on. A lot of people wonder why they are not able to marry. Eh? Uh? People, people are not marrying because they have unfinished debt to pay. Marriage itself is a curse. Marriage is not a blessing. Huh? It is a curse. Our marriage, you mean? Marriage is not a blessing. Oh, this is a blessing from God. No, marriage is not a blessing. Marriage is an institution. Understand it properly. It's an institution to be able to procreate souls that will help you unburden your debt and you can move on. That is why marriage is there. Ah, so it is not like, oh, I've got to marry to a good wife. If I have a good wife today, it is because in my past life, I was good. And that is why that soul has come back to be a good wife to me. And when we are talking about wife, marriage, understand the institution of marriage and love and all of that, it has so many varieties. Right now, what we are having right here is a marriage. Marriage is not about just joining together and having a sex. You know, this is a marriage because it is a relationship, a communion. There are two types of marriage. Where we have the physical relationship, and then there's one whereby I'm speaking intellectually to you, and you are also understanding intellectually. Now there is a relationship that is happening there. Mm. That is a marriage. The connection. Voila, that is a marriage. So now, when when we are talking about this point, marriage also is another key point. That is a key that a lot of people are so much troubled about. Why am I not getting married? See, I'm getting old. What is happening? Men are promising me. They are not getting married to me. I get into a relationship. It's not working out. It's, it's, you're just paying off a debt. Hey! So why should you be worried? This one needs, to, needs a solution right now. There is no solution to that. Huh? There is no solution to that. Hey, wait. People just need to stop unnecessarily thinking and killing themselves unnecessarily. Mm. Because... There is, you're just paying off a debt. Whether you like it, if you like the government or you don't like the government, you still have to follow the rule of the government. Right? You can't say, because I did not vote for the government, so I am not going to follow the rule. If you break it, you will be punished by mm. the government. That is also the same way of the universe. There is a universal law. Whether we like it or we don't like it, I can remember, I don't remember. It, it doesn't matter. You have to also follow. You will be punished accordingly. Everyone is punished. So marriage is a punishment. Mm. So if you're not married, it's good. It means you don't have somebody to pay debt to. So it's good. Hey! <laughs> it's good. And I <laughs> uh, it's, it's a priority good. to us. Oh. It is a priority because we don't understand the essence. Oh. We don't understand We it. don't even like our freedom. Shut up. <laughs> uh, you are watching the biggest and the largest African spiritual platform. We have one of our great teachers on set today, mm -hmm. one of our brothers. I think he's telling us things. So. Mm -hmm. He's telling us things. Please, is there anything a, a, a particular family will do or people? Let's, the married thing is very, very important because people are mar getting married the marriage is breaking apart people are marrying two three four th th it has become an issue for the young the old the bishop the knowledgeable ones the ignorant everybody is suffering from this marriage thing you said mm -hmm. is there anything can you delve deeper why how um, 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 reincarnate, reincarnation can cost someone in marriages People are dying in marriages and they are holding it like Baba, they will hold it till they die because what Bible has, what the Lord has put 
put together. Let no man put a send down. Yes, but well, understand, what's in, what is it that influences their thought pattern? It's not about the Bible or someone is being killed and still the person is not running. What is it that is influencing him not to run? The planet. Mm. The planet influences him. Now, a, a lot of us, we are all paying off a debt. Like I said in the beginning, we are all paying off a debt. And who are the people that have, who are the, what are the entities that have been put in place to make sure whether we like it or we don't like it, we have to pay off that debt? The planet. Mm. A child does not like to go to school, but the parent forces him to go to school anyway. The child will be like, oh, my parents don't like me. Why are they not? Why I don't want to go to school today. I want to stay at home. But still, the, child, the parents will like force him to, you know, to go to school. The child does not like to take medicine. But still, the parents will force the medicine into the mouth of the child. Why? The child is not acting on his own choice. But still, by dint of providence, he has to take it. So the planet enforces those laws of the universe. Every one of us, we are born under a particular planet that influences each and every one of us. And based on that planet that we are born under that is influencing each and every one of us, we have to, you know, there are certain things that we cannot escape from. If a woman in her past life have been very, very abusive to her husband, in this lifetime, she's going to have a husband that will be very, very abusive to her. And people will tell her, leave this marriage. She will not be able to do that. Mm. Even though the advices are coming, but she, you know, it's like, it's like, I don't want to, I don't want it, but I so he cannot, dies in it. I cannot e come me. out of it. E me. But this also <laughs> explains ancestral curse. Mm. Mm. So you see, basically everything is all connected. Everything is all connected. If you are not able to get married, it's also ancestral curse. The ancestors are not happy, mm. but also in, in, indicates that you don't have a debt. A big debt. Now, when you get married and you are not happy in that marriage, have you seen a situation whereby a husband kills the wife, mm -hmm. the wife kills the husband, the children kills the parent? Because these are enemies. Mm. They were enemies in their past life. And because they were enemies, they have been strategically placed. Hey, you need to uh, recycle it. Uh, yes. But let us take punishment. Let's take punishment as an example. A group of people, they don't know each other, but they were all brought together in an aeroplane, flying to, a, to one particular destination, but all of them had an accident and they all died. Why? Why? Could joint karma. They all have something similar, a certain offense similar in their past life, and that is why the universe has brought them all together to punish them. To finish them. Accordingly. Hey. Is there any karma this universe can forgive? No. You have to pay at once. But of course, everybody force. is paying. Either you pay in this life or you pay in the next life or you pay in 300 years, you still have to pay. You will still have to pay. Yes. I will bring him back to um, his topic to finish in our next five minutes. Mm. Um, our time is almost. But I want you to summarize everything you've said about why do... Good people, good things happen to bad people. I want you to summarize it. And whatever you are telling us, I would want you to advise people to take life easy about what happens to them. Mm. Because it can be they are karma. But I will ask you a few questions before we go through um, this. Okay, so from having a, this conversation with you, I have no doubt that you are well endowed when it comes to spirituality. So this is why I'm coming to ask you um, a very important question. I have a lot of things. Me, personally, I've been called multiples of names, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Maybe it's my karma. Yes, <laughs> You're watching the biggest. Okay, so um, I have a background of Christianity. I moved, 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 and moved to consciousness. I was in Christianity. I decided to study witchcraft in Paris. I did, 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 and I got here, and I realized, I realized consciousness is everything. I started delving deeper into consciousness, and I started selling crystals, copper, these things, because I had a bit of knowledge, and I have had opportunity to go through some studies, like you said. So I have copper around my, my, my legs. You can see you have one. Why do you have copper around your legs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you saw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw. Because I have it, and people, I have it, you can see. 
Yes, my I, own. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. I have it and people talk about I don't care about what people say anyway. But because you are well endowed, you are educating the public. I want you to tell them why this thing is there for them to know whether it is good or bad. Oh, it is very good. Because when I started talking about copper, one somebody said it's not everybody that needs copper, blah, blah. <laughs> when you, in fact, eh, tell them why are you having copper around you? Oh. And add the crystal. Why do you have crystal to around your finger? How important is this for human beings? This is a stone. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So add the stone to the copper and let's see when okay. we get there. Mm -hmm. There are five metals on the surface of the earth that one must never misuse. And there are places you must not put some certain metals. Hmm. For example, you should not wear gold on your feet. Hmm. It, it is bad. Hmm. You should not, gold should be wear on the top, on the upper part of the body. Hmm. Now when we're talking about copper, copper is very, very strong in repelling negative energy. Hmm. And also, it is also very, very good in keeping the body temperature cool mm. Mm. and avoiding, you know, unnecessary energy. For example, if you go to a place where somebody has put some tin on the ground or stuff like that, you know, but because you are having a copper, it serves as a repellent, you know, from this negative energy that must have been kept, you know, anywhere and everything. And there are two sources that we use in getting energy. One is the feet and the other is the hand. When you touch a person and the energy of the person is not good, that energy automatically transfers, transfers to you, you know? But when you have a copper around you, you are able to, it absorbs the energy and deflects it out. Mm. This is why I have, you know, copper. It has been in my feet for quite a long time, you know, before I met you also. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it has been there, you know? And also for the, for the stone, Everybody that is born on a particular date, there's a difference here between horoscopy and astrology. Hmm. There's a difference. Horoscopy is the, re is the understanding of the sun sign. Vedic astrology is the understanding of the movement of the moon in your life. Because it is impossible to say that because you are born on a Tuesday, you are born in this day, you are born in this month, so you are, this is your zodiac sign. That is a lie. Hmm. Mm. That is a lie. It is, it is impossible. And that's why you see people are born on, you can't say because, for example, okay, let me take me as an example. I was born on August. All right, so August 25th. So naturally we say, oh, he's a Virgo. But no, I'm not a Virgo. Hmm. I'm a Scorpion. How did I come to this? Mm -hmm. Vedic astrology. As at the time you were born, the moon was also placed in a particular direction. So uh, you, you infuse it into it to know who you are. But of course, because the moon is what gives your body. It is not the sun. Hmm. What influences the human being the most? Is it the sun or the moon? It's the moon. Why does the moon influence? The moon influences your emotion, influences your thinking, influences everything. Even your body, the way your body is shaped, your eyes, everything is all influenced by the moon. So the moon is the seed giving father. Hmm. And based on the placement of the moon as at the time that the child was being conceived, the nature of the child becomes either good or in a negative way, based on the time. And that is why in, before a woman goes to have sex with her husband, there is a process whereby, you know, the observing of the, you know, moon phase is being studied. So when we are talking about wearing the stones, it is based on the time of birth. Not just, oh, I don't, a lot of people now, now they don't know their time of birth. Hmm. You know, and because people don't know, you see, the time of birth, the date of your birth, the month of your birth is like a house. But to enter inside that house, you need a key. Now the time of birth is the key that unlocks the door you know, then you now see everything in regarding to the house. But when you don't know your time of birth, and you only know the date that you were born and the time, the, the date and the month you were born, and you take it to anybody, people will tell you any, whatever nonsense, whatever, you know, hoblo joblos, people mm. will say. Hoblo joblos, you know? <laughs> I'm not serious. It's all, it's, it all comes to that thing you said. Uh, the, the, what, which one? The, uh, uh, the astrologists, astrology. the bad ones, what yes. are they called? Horoscope. 
No, the bad ones, the osteo what? Uh, side of astrologers. Side of, all this confusion. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yo, so the copper, this copper thing, eh, I went to school and when I read about it, I realized, ah, my people like putting gold on their feet. And since I have noticed that it is bad, let me make a whole box and bring to my country. Because I mean, I care about my people. Look. That's good. Let me bring it to my country so that they buy and put it there so that it, it helps them to take their balance. And we, we love Juju as Africans. It will also help people. And the, where they are putting the gold is also eating them up because it's not supposed to be there. Indeed. I brought a whole suitcase and it's still stuck in my office. Please Because buy. they don't understand. That's why I ask you, <laughs> even my own that I'm wearing, some mm. a woman at the airport, not when I was going outside in Kumasi here, the woman at the airport said I should remove it from my feet before I can pass. <laughs> we have a problem. Oh. God help us all. So the copper is still in the office. This is it. Please. I won't ask you and I won't force you, but I just want you to acquire knowledge because yeah, knowledge is broad, is big. This thing we do here, you pay thousands of dollars to get these information. These people are killing themselves for us. All the bill, look at where he's coming from. He's here giving you this information. Make you full of it, else you come back and pay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I scam, you are watching the biggest and the largest. We have five minutes. Please, I want you to advise us, everybody that is watching us, why do good things happen to bad people? You've made us to understand that there's nothing good, there's nothing bad. Assuming someone just put his, his channel here or her channel here watching us, Everything that we've discussed from yesterday till today, Rink, and everything that you've given us, we appreciate it. Summarize it in this five minutes for the person who just placed his channel here to understand everything that we say that will benefit the person. When you look at life, sometimes life seems very, very unfair and it looks like everything is stacked up against you. But that is not the essence. The essence is you must understand that we owe a debt. I owe a debt, you owe a debt. Nobody is free of debt. And because we owe a debt, we are paying for the debt. The moment you realize this, that everything that is happening not good for me is actually a debt that I'm paying off, at that moment, that problem goes away. But the moment you start thinking that, no, this does not, with, with, it does not, do, I thread. don't deserve it. The moment we start thinking that I don't deserve my problems, at that moment, the problems, the universe does not take it away. God does not take it away. Our destiny does not take it away. You see, the problem that a lot of us have is we don't like to take responsibility of anything. Mm. Neither do we want people to put on any responsibility on, upon, upon we, us. We love blaming people for our predicament. Voila. Ah, okay, so things is not working nicely for me. It is not because of your father or your mother or somebody that is your neighbor that is doing his own thing. It's not because of your neighbor. That is why things are not working for you. Things are not working for you because, one, you have not done good things in your past life. When I talk about past life, I'm not talking when you were a baby. I'm talking about a life you've lived before this. Now, people be like, but why should I be punished for something I did, you know, in, in a life before? Why should I be punished for that now? Yes, you will be because you forget, but nature does not forget. Mm, that's it. Mm. You, if you go to borrow money from somebody, ah, you can forget that you borrow money, but the person that borrowed you the money does not forget. Mm -hmm. So that is also nature. Nature does not forget. So it is important. The moment we understand this and we accept it, at that moment, I'm telling you, my brother, my sister, that is listening to the sound of my voice, at that moment, that problem or whatever it is that you're passing through disappears. Hmm. And a, another door of opportunity opens up. It is a fact. Awareness. When we're talking about awareness, this is what it means. Be aware that everything that is happening in your life is as a result of your own doing, not because of somebody. Hmm. As a result of what you have done. Someone accused you, you were blamed, whatever, whatever it is, you know, it is as a result of what you have done when you accept it. Okay, this is my mess, I'm going to clean it up. When you accept it, at that moment, the universe opens a new chapter for you. Okay, now the child has become mature. 
he has understood that it is because of what he has done that is why he's suffering so now okay now let us give him the reward of that suffering do you understand mm. it? Yes, I do. Yes. Thank you so much. I, I want you to say a prayer for us. Do you pray? Do you pray? I pray. Say a prayer for us, me and my people here and the platform and everybody that is watching us, my followers, say a prayer for us in one minute. Okay. My prayer is a bit different. Uh, don't worry. Go ahead. I don't know why I'm asking you for a prayer, but pray for us. Okay. Everybody that is my follower mm -hmm. and everybody that is watching us today and everybody that is here in this studio, pray for us. Your way, anyway. I will do it the simple way. Okay. You see, the moon is the witnesser of everybody's activity. Before you were born, the moon was present. Before your father was born, the moon was present. When your father dies, the moon was present. When you are going to die, the moon will be present. Before your great, 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 great grandfather was born, the moon was present. So my prayer for you and everybody that is listening to the sound of my voice is that may you live to see millions and millions and millions and millions of full moon. Mm. May you live to see that. Mm. Because living to see the full moon it is a blessing. Mm. When you don't see the full moon, <laughs> it is not a blessing. So may you live to see millions and millions of full moon. Mm. And may whichever generation that comes after you, you have a daughter, your daughter is going to have a child. May they all live to see millions and millions and millions mm. of full moon mm. in this lifetime. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much. So social media handles again, please. And if somebody wants to reach out to you, how? Well, so basically I don't have a Ghana number. I'd give us, now the, the phone, there's no limit. So okay. give us all the numbers we can reach you on and give us the social media handles. Okay, so well, on Facebook, my name is Sukadeva Goswami Das on Facebook. Uh, on TikTok, people know me as Sukavani. That is S U K A V A N I mm -hmm. on TikTok. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, Merci thank beaucoup. you so much. Guys, Moon play video way over and over again. Ellie Klim Nekai and Amon Share and Ancroft. We need to get to the. Uh, to, to, to benefit from all this kind of knowledge. And yeah, easy, and yeah, cheap, and yeah, roadside. Uh, but he, because of the love he has for this platform and myself, he's here. Thank you so much. We do appreciate, honestly. We will make useful of use of it so we don't come and pay back. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Revelations. My name is always Hadasha.